Okay, so here we will briefly discuss the difference between a normal artery and an atherosclerotic artery. A healthy artery has a normal human and therefore adequate vital organ perfusion is maintained. In atherosclerosis, this does not occur. Lipids deposit on the coronary artery lumen, forming a lipid core. The lipids that deposit are triglyceride-rich lipoproteins, which are VLDL and chylomicrons, or LDL particles. The presence of conditions like diabetes and hypertension leads to molecular mechanisms that affect both the arteries, causing endothelial damage, and the lipid core, causing its progression into atherosclerotic plaque. In the full lecture, we will focus on the importance of diabetes and hypertension in the pathogenesis of atherosclerosis. So how are we going to do this? We will link basics to practice by relating these two conditions to their treatment goals. Okay, so going back to the two processes which are endothelial damage and progression into atherosclerotic plaque, these two processes lead to the occlusion of the arteries, whether it is a partial occlusion or a complete occlusion. In partial occlusion of blood flow, this leads to non-ST elevated acute coronary syndrome, whether it is unstable angina or non-ST elevation myocardial infarction. This can be managed by two strategies, either early invasive strategy, meaning PCI or coronary artery bypass graft, or by conservative therapy, meaning medication. Such a decision is decided by the presence or absence of myocardial injury. While in case of complete occlusion of coronary blood flow, about 70% stenosis occurs in the lumen of the coronary artery, leading to myocardial infarction. This can be managed either by PCI or fibrinolytic drugs. In any of these settings, such actions are taken in order to restore blood flow inside the arteries. It is referred to as revascularization process in non-ST elevated AS, ACS, while reperfusion strategy in ST elevation myocardial infarction, which I hope the idea is clear for you now by what we highlighted in this video. In the full lecture, we will discuss and answer a few questions. For example, which arteries are subject to atherosclerosis? What is coronary artery remodeling? What does prothrombotic endothelium lead to? What are the types of atherosclerotic plaque according to their degree of complication? All this and more we will address in the full lecture.